Today, we're going to talk about how XRP can make you rich. Now, as a side note, I don't actually hate XRP. I just hate all the shills for XRP because they've been ridiculous for like five years. Com coming up with like 100 theories, which zero of them have actually gotten true. And they're pretty much still prodding the same thing. When you do that for that long, I uh, kind of really don't consider you any better than a scammer. But going on uh, about that, um, a lot of you are very excited about the partnerships and the potential for ODL and all the other stuff about like central banks. But that's actually not what's going to make you rich, at least not in the, in the next five, 10 years or so. Because we've been hearing that stuff for like half a decade now. And remember, all these guys and all these like XRP shield channels essentially came up after the 2017, 2018 bull run. And the price really hasn't moved since then. Yes, the lawsuit was there for the last two and a half years, but it's been five years. The other two and a half years, it didn't really do all that much either. And obviously all those theories about, hey, a lot of big banks and institutions are waiting just for the lawsuit to be over to jump in. That wasn't true either. It's been more than a month since the lawsuit. Uh, um, it's been more than a month since the lawsuit subsided and Ripple won. And uh, yeah, no one actually jumped in. None of the big banks anyways. Just moved after the initial post-lawsuit pump. It basically just went up and down with Bitcoin and it's given up most of its gains by this point. Although that can't be um, attributed to XRP itself because the market is down about, I mean, Bitcoin's down about 10, 15%. So there's give and take on that. But what's going to make you the most money and what can make you rich in the next bull run is not the IMF, BIS, BRICS or anything else. Now that's all like garbage hype. What's real is this guy right here, Wheatswind. I am a big, I've been a big fan of Wheats for a very, very long time. Um, the thing is like, he actually might be more important to XRP mooning within the next couple of years, if not forever, rather than Brad Garlinghouse or Chris Larson, because he manages XRP Labs, which is the primary third-party development for XRP. All that sologenic core or whatever stuff that never really went into anything flare flare is not really xrp flare is just a bridge to flare they basically want to use the xrp community to boost up their own ecosystem not many people are using flare so i don't think that's actually going anywhere and it's really not xrp smart contracts anyways it's basically a bridge to flare smart contracts but you know what is xrp smart contracts or at least like somewhat xrp smart contracts wheat's wind is development of hooks now that's a little bit weird because Hooks is going to be like a fork of XRP and you're going to have to bridge XRP to the new XRP, I, I guess, ledger to use Hooks because some for some reason the main chain can't really handle smart contracts and Hooks. Not really sure why that is. You'll actually have to ask Wheatswin to actually explain that to you. But this is still very, very crucial to XRP because... The XRPL lacks a lot of fundamental features that other chains have. Yes, it is very fast. Uh, it is very fast in terms of transactions and it has great capacity, but most newer blockchains actually have that. So that is no longer a differentiating feature of the XRP ledger. Everyone has that. But most other chains that can be developed on also has smart contracts, which allow them to have many more opportunities, especially in the world of DeFi. And yes, some of you have argued with me that XRP actually has DeFi because it has one of the oldest DEXs out there. That doesn't really matter. Like the heart of DeFi is building a new economic system. Um, and that's basically with yield farming and generating passive yield, as well as the borrowing and loaning stuff, which as far as I know, like XRP itself does not actually have right now. And the thing is, like, money, many of you are like, oh, what about Codius? That's going to give us smart contracts. Codius has been dead for a while. And no, it wasn't because of the lawsuit. They gave up on Codius, like, years before the lawsuit. Because the um, Ripple team doesn't really prioritize third-party development or third-party applications. They are solely focused on ODL. But here's the thing, like, adopting RippleNet, maybe some of ODL, might actually help Ripple make money by licensing software, it doesn't actually make you any money because according to Brad Garlinghouse, despite the SEC lawsuit, like ODL's adoption has been growing something like 130% quarter over quarter for like the last three years or something. And despite that, 
there has been zero effect on the price. And I suspect there's going to be zero effect on the price for the foreseeable future of ODL and any of this XRP adoption stuff. So the industrial adoption, like every other coin, isn't really going to matter for price. And I doubt it's ever really going to matter for price. I don't think any of these coins are actually designed that way. They are designed to be cheap for companies to use. They aren't designed to be hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars per coin and, com uh, and companies have to hold hundreds of these coins to actually use this product. That doesn't actually make any sense at all because then no one would use it because it's too expensive. Whether uh, it's too expensive because I have to hold a lot of this or because like the transaction fees are too high. I think for XRP, if the, if the, if the, if the um, uh, price of XRP was really high, they would, they like companies wouldn't actually want to hold a lot of it on their balance sheet because it just ties up too much of their money. It's the same thing. Like people talk about Nostro Mostro all the time. If you have to hold the same amount of, uh, of a crypto just to use the system, that really doesn't help you any. And the thing is, at that point, they might as well just keep the old system. There's a lot of intricacies in banking. Like a lot of banks like these slower transactions because it actually helps them make money off of the customers. But that's a discussion for another day. But either ways, what I'm saying is uh, we twin and XRP labs. That's the way you're actually going to make a lot of money off XRP. Not this IMS BIS, IMF BIS nonsense. Not like, oh, BRICS is going to adopt XRP or whatever. That's going to have a lot of hype but that's going to turn into a nothing burger, just like all those other theories. Whereas XR, uh, like hooks is actually going to be real. That will introduce smart contracts and that will introduce more, uh, a real DeFi ecosystem to XRP. If you look at the last bull run, yes, there was hype, but the coins that actually did the best were the ones that built out large ecosystems. Look like Solana, even though that mo most of that was fake. You know, Cardano did well, even though like you know it was only really starting their ecosystem. Ethereum did very well because it actually built out a really, really big ecosystem. And I think it's going to be even more so this time around. You know, people want these opportunities to generate passive income. And this is actually the way to do it. You know, I just did a segment on Cardano and MinSwap and why that can make you rich. And, you know, I might do a segment on Hedera and SaucerSwap and maybe Solana and whatever their biggest DEX is. And XRP needs to join that game as well. And Wheatswind is the key for you guys to actually join that game. The thing is, like, I think a lot of you think that your project is special and you don't need DeFi and smart contracts to actually moon. That's, that's not true. You definitely need DeFi and smart contracts to moon. In fact, I'm willing to bet that if you actually had these things in the last bull run, you would have went a lot higher and broken your all-time high despite the SEC lawsuit. And next time, I, don't, I think if you don't have these things, you might break the all-time high, but not by all that much. Because if you really think about it, like this is actually what locks value in. This is actually what gives incentive to hold your coin. If without these things, because XRP doesn't have any internal staking either on chain, your only real way to make money with XRP is basically to hold and pray that the coin goes up. That strategy has not been working uh, well, too well for you guys for the last uh, half decade. What has been working was people who invested in those coins that did have smart contracts and did be, be, uh, build out the ecosystem. So the thing is, like, if your strategy isn't working and their strategy is, I think you should switch to their strategy. And Wheat's Wind is the key to switching to that strategy right now with uh, hooks. So I'm hoping to see some TVL locked in for XRP soon. And I'm hoping that the, the hooks thing comes out before the next bull run, because if it doesn't, you buy, you guys might be missing out on a lot. And if it does, you know, that's going to be the thing that gets you to $5, $10 or even more. The $100, $1,000 XRP thing is never going to happen. Like thinking that your coin is going to take over the world's finances, that's just like, that's basically fairy tale fantasy stuff. That's not really going to happen. But if you actually want to cash out on a really good ROI, I mean, you have to look at hooks and wheat win, and you have to realize that, yeah, you are the same as every other coin and you need these features. And if you have these features, you can go up that high. And the thing is like Ripple and XRP have a dedicated community. I'm sure there's a lot of those people that are willing to lock in, um, you know, value or lock in and yield farm 
with Ripple and XRP if you gave them the option. They don't really have that option right now. And if you don't have that option and everyone else does, you're going to lose some of those investors and lose some of that community because no one wants to sit there and pray that their coin's gonna go up when they can actually generate income, especially in a bull market, off of options on other blockchains. It doesn't just make any sense to actually sit there. I mean, this is what, like, DeFi is really what crypto is about. Crypto is trying to build a new economic system, and to do that, you have to replicate the old economic system and accept to have it be decentralized and not controlled by it, controllable by anyone. And that's what the essence of real DeFi is. So if you don't have it, you're missing out on the heartbeat of crypto right now. And so, you know, XRP hooks, we twin XRP labs, that's the way you're going to make a lot of money in the next bull run. Yeah, it can, might take you to five or $10, and I don't think you're going to really reach that without it either, at least not to $10. So he might actually be the key for you to make a lot of money. And you and most people who are invested in XRP, they're just focused on the fantasy fairy tale stuff with like, you know, the BIS or the IMF or BRICS or whatever. They're not really focused on the real development of XRP and XRPL, which is what you should be focused on. And that you really need to get rid of the mindset that like my coin is not like every other coin. I don't really need this stuff to actually have my in uh, investment go up. I just need Ripple to take over the world. That world domination thing is never gonna happen. And you need to come back down to reality and realize that, hey, you have a big community there. There's a lot of people that are willing to lock in value. So if you really want your coin to skyrocket up and reach new all-time highs, you actually need to get on the, you need to get on the uh, Wheatswind and XRP Labs train and basically push for hooks and hope it comes out sooner rather than later because once it does, that opens up a whole new plethora of possibilities. So yes, that's what I have to say about XRP. That's how you can make a lot of money with XRP and how you can become rich with XRP. Not all that world domination stuff, but actually pretty much like getting XRP Labs to give you the same features that everyone already has because you can use your community to your advantage and lock in a lot of TVL, which would actually moon XRP just like it mooned every other coin. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.